Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Today I'm going to show you the difference between Vocaline Project and Vocaline Pro ARA. Now there are a few differences between the Pro version and the Project version. So if we go to their website, so you'll see here we've got protected regions in Vocaline Pro as opposed to Project 3 and sync and waypoints. And if you come down the end, you'll see that everything's the same apart from the maximum duration of alignment, which can go up to 300 seconds. So that's all well and good, but the main difference for me is the speed of the workflow. So here we've got a project, and as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five different vocal tracks. Now, if you're like me and you work with sometimes up to 60, 60 different vocal tracks, you'll see how much faster this can work. So let's just play the audio we're going to be working with. Because we keep it all in To stop the world from breaking If you open up Instead of holding out Okay, so you'll see that the first section, let me just play that again. Because we keep it all especially the start, it's completely out of time with one another. So let's insert Vocaline Pro. So I've actually applied a shortcut to this. So I'm going to show you how to do that again, which is go up to Studio One, and go Keyboard Shortcuts, and we're going to type in VOC, short for Vocaline, and my shortcuts for Edit with Vocaline are Shift-V, and to remove Vocaline, it's Alt-Shift-V. So that means that I can attach Vocaline to these different audio events very, very quickly. So let me show you how to do that. So if I highlight all of my audio events, so these are all of my vocal files here, and I'm going to push Shift and V. And as you can see, the Vocaline Pro window pops up. Now let's move that out of the way a bit. And let's just shrink the track so we can see everything. Now as with Vocaline Project, I'm just going to copy the lead vocal in to the guide here. And now the difference is, if I highlight all of these tracks here, which are all of my dub tracks, all my backing vocal tracks, and I can drag them in all at the same time into my dub window. Now, let's have a listen now. Cause we keep it all in. So I'm just going to remind you how it sounded before. So I'm going to use my shortcut again, which is Shift, Alt and V to remove vocal line. Cause we keep it all in. Completely out of time. So again, highlight the tracks. Shift, V. Cause we keep it all in. So we can do the same now with the rest of the tracks. So I highlight the lead vocal and copy that in. Highlight the rest of the tracks all together and drag them into the dub window. Check that. To stop the world from breaking. And now let's play the last section. If you open up instead of holding out. So okay, as you can hear with this one, the problem's on the second half. And let's just copy the lead in. Highlight all my dubs and drag them in to the dub window. If you open up instead of holding out. Now let's listen to the whole thing. Cause we keep it all in. To stop the world from breaking. If you open up. Instead of holding out, won't you let So as you can see there, it's, it's a really quick way of working. The project version is absolutely brilliant and it works just as well in my opinion. But with the pro version, if you're under time constraints or you really want to work quickly, it makes such a difference. So I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.